Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, warshippers of all ages, welcome to our final match of the day. Here in King of the Sea 13's international playoff bracket, we are proud to present North American second place team, Devastating Strike 07, no stranger to these kinds of events, versus the EU champion. This is Ban CV, also no stranger to these kinds of events. I'm excited to see these two teams square off as we start here on Warriors path 07 zoning in with ohio kremlin des moines moskva double nevsky double daring and a yu yang okay sure <laughs> what do you got for us stats with the band cv lineup no real surprises on the south side where we've got for band cv uh, ohio kremlin uh, double moskva double nevsky double dare at uh, gearing and then a daring um because Mosso and ragnar are the two two bands for the series which opens up the uh, gearing nevsky combination that uh, quite a few eu teams including Band CV are quite big fans of. Um, someone who knows quite a lot about Band CV is Darth <laughs> Henning, uh, because Darth Henning is a member of Band CV and has played with them uh, in King of the Sea many, many times, uh, but is not playing today. And so I just asked him off uh, camera, do, would you prefer to be playing or are you kind of enjoying the lack of pressure? So Henning, do you want to like give, do you want to finish the answer? Yeah. Like playing this game, uh, at this stage, it makes you nervous as like as hell. Like your hands are try uh, starting to shake, and like especially as a battleship player, when you like aim your salvo and your crosshair just doesn't stop moving, it's sometimes a bit weird. Um, like I enjoy watching this a lot more. It's at least way more relaxing, and you also don't have to put like countless hours into like prepping strats and all of that. Because like people don't see that usually, but it is not surprising if you have like four trainings between the weekends with mm -hmm. like two two or three hours each so it's a lot it's... of commitment and the, pr the pressure is real right this is a game but it, this is a tournament this is real this is serious um these players are absolutely especially with money on the table these players are taking this very very seriously very much okay. so almost as almost as serious as those of you in chat who bet literally oh, tens yeah. of thousands of points on one team or another. Yes, I'm looking at you, Sneaky Snake, who bet all his <laughs> points on his buddies in Clan CV. 72,333 Quackens. Mm. 72,000 points on, on Band CV. So, hey, maybe somebody else is going home a winner today. We're going to have to see. Okay, Eagle Lance dipping in to be capping that. Uh, immediately contested by Kytus' uh, Moskva for Band CV. Yeah, Kytus, um, Kytus blew a radar so that they could see where Eagle was. I'm a little surprised at that, that simply because it was like, well, there's only one place he's probably going to be. But anyway, I, uh, they know they know well where Eagle Lance is. Yeah, I, I wonder whether that was to, to try and catch Eagle exiting the cap, um, if they weren't going to keep Eagle in there. Um, Possibly. They are. Yeah. Eagle, Eagle is locked up on Hydro right now. Okay, nothing else. Oh, uh, the the daring of Ban CV is just uh, backed into, or is just about to back into A. But with Hydro running and torpedoes inbound, just dipping off the cap there to let those torpedoes go past. Um, gearing torpedoes heading up towards pieces of pizza from 07 in the daring on the two line. While feel ah, Henning, I want to ask you. How that do you pronounce the Band CV Gearing's name on the one line? Uh, I I think we usually call him Vile. Mm -hmm. Vile, okay. Yeah. Because I always Vilex. say Velix. I always say Velix, and then Painzor says Vile Nine. <laughs> and, uh, we're, we're having having this argument. Okay, we'll we'll, oh, we we'll call the Gearing the Vile. Last two letters. Okay. Uh, yes, anyway, so um, Vile in the gearing for Band CV lays that smoke screen as predicted for Kinemod's Nevsky across the one two line. Something similar going over on the 10 line uh, for both teams, actually. Yu Yang laying a smoke screen for the double Nevsky on the 10 line for 07. And they're going to lay some uh, some fire down on Anle in the Mosfar on the corner. Yeah, the double Nevsky smoke train over here over on the 10 lane has already chosen its first victim. Anle is going to have to back up and try to deny as much of that fire as he can. He's still spotted right now. I'm assuming radar must have been a radar spot. I think it was just the but, island being not high enough. Do you understand? Think so? Yeah, because I wasn't convinced that Fryce had a line of sight to him, but he must have. Um, Five minutes gone. Are... Both teams still jockeying for position. Go ahead, stats. 
There are deep water torpedoes from the Yuyang coming towards Blood Legends Nevsky in the smokescreen. Torps from Frice. Uh, of course, those deep water torpedoes are very difficult to spot, um, but Gearing is out there screening. He's going to pick them up now for sure. Give Blood Legend a little bit of time to react. Yeah, there you go. There's the acceleration. Yep, he'll have Blood plenty Legend? of time to get out of the way there. Is he going to be able to stop? Yeah, I think he can. I think he's okay. Yeah, he's fine. Okay, and uh, Torps being sent in the other direction, of course. So Frice will be seeing these torpedoes pop up around about now for the gearing. Uh, one just passing the rear end of Frice there. John the Ruthless will have to deal with those other torps coming on the right-hand side. Yep, John's going to nope, move up a bit. Fine. Elgar's Elgar's got a gap. Everybody's okay over there. Six minutes yeah, gone he... as uh, Ban CD works out to about a 40-point lead here. Their early cap, they're ticking up A, of course. O7's early cap of B not going anywhere because Kaidus' Moskva continues to contest. Now, they've they've done some work on Kaidus there. Eagle Lance hasn't taken a single point of damage. But Kaidus is down about twenty k, about fifteen k. Yeah, Eagle Lance has just been uh, just ducked in by that island, just minding his own business, really. Although uh, Striva in the Daring has just started to get some shells just, on target. Just started to chip him a little bit, but you have to you have to figure that Kaidus's hydro can't last forever. There, yeah, no, it's still. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> the wrong chip. I... <laughs> um... It's worth mentioning, um, so Vile in the gearing and, and the Nevsky of Kinemod have pushed all the way up. They've gone past the halfway line um, because 07 have left that 1 2 line open. The gearing laying a further smoke there for Kinemod. Uh, Merin taking a shot at Kinemod. Doesn't do very much. So Bad CV got good control there of the A cap. Um, B is contested. C, nothing doing yet. But 07 look like they're in a bit of a stronger position over on C, although I've just spotted point in the Kremlin. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think they know point is there yet. They've they last time they caught eyes of him, I think Ocean Man's radar a little while ago would have shown where he That's... was. Oh, no, he has been spotted. I was about to say the Kremlin doesn't look like he's ever been spotted, but he has been. That's fine. No, he has um... been spotted at least once, but I don't think they've spotted him in that position. No, a ace baby in the 07 Kremlin could get a nasty shock if they don't realize the point is pushed forward. Uh, okay, Anlay taking further fire as that smoke uh, with the double Nevskis in it pushes even further down the 10 line. As Blood Legend, uh, who's taken a fair smack, Blood Legend down to 20k. Eagle Lance just smokes away. Still perma spotted in this cap yep. as Ban CV. Worked up to over 120 point lead here as 07 is finally going to bag C. Ace Baby's Kremlin picking up that. Both teams now taking up a cap. Eight minutes gone. Some some so, gearing torps out here looking for Marin's Ohio north of the A cap. He's got a nice gap there to fit through. As he takes a shot down at, is that, is he shooting at uh, uh, Sriver? Yeah, I don't think he can see Angelstone. He's guessing. He's blind shooting in the smoke. Point in the Kremlin uh, by B is just inching and inching and inching forwards. Um, maybe was, I don't know, maybe thinking about trying to get a shot onto Eagle Lance. Um, um, either that or the Des Moines. Really they know so, the Des Moines is there as well. Henning, do you think that Point is in a very dangerous position here? Because it's ba uh, Ace Baby could potentially come around the corner, right? Uh, they have vision on Ace Baby right now, so they probably yeah. are playing off of that right now. He's not to be reversing already. Yeah. It is a very delicate position there, though. I gotta yeah, say, I guys, one of the things... Go ahead. No, you go ahead. It's fine. I'll say, one of the things that I that I don't like about 07's board position, and Eagle Lance has spent almost half the game kind of trapped in this cap, they don't have much spotting, right? Other yeah, my than, other than is the, a bad spot here, actually. Uh, other than the Yu Yang... All the way over on the 10 line, able to spot for his Nevskis. Like, pretty much nobody else. Like, Pizza's daring isn't really doing much spotting. Maltese is getting smashed over here, north of A. In fact, he's probably probably going out soon. This you have down to. Here. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. I'm just yeah. kind of scratching my head. Like, you know, they're not. They're usually better at this in terms of vision control. Yep, well, Einstein does get the kill of Maltese. Oh, the two Kremlins made each other on the channel. 
Ah, uh, yep. So Ace Baby did finally take that corner. Mm-hmm. He's coming through the gap now. I think point just goes for the win. Yeah, I, I think at this point, I think at this point, if you're banned CV, you take the ram. You look for the shot. You look for the pop, the bow punch on either the Des Moines or Eagle. Whatever you think you can get. In fact, Eagle's now forcing forcing Kytus to move out of there by throwing some conga line torpedoes at his old position, but it's costing him. He cost him a chunk of his HP. Yep, Kytus having to push quite a long way forwards there as these two Kremlins approach. Yep, that's just going to be a straight trade, Kremlin to Kremlin. I hate that trade. Um, Egan and watch Egan is down his talks now, so, uh, so Kytus can just go. Well, he can, but that's exp that explains a little bit of Pieces' position. Pieces came around to get uh, to get yep. these, his conga line torps in, but even none of those have landed. No, I like the theory. Get Eagle to go around the back of the island, push conga line torps towards the corner, push Kytus forward to meet Pizza's torps, but none of them landed. Nope. Kytus, Kytus is... had his Hydro up, so... I think Eagle Lance is done. Yep. Yeah, that's an assassination right there. So Kytus is in the cap, but I don't think he's going to get it or survive even, probably. Um, but the daring of Sriva will be able to circle back around and grab it if necessary. I mean, their chance to kill Kytus, I think, has kind of already come and gone, right? The... If Ocean Man had moved up a bit, you would have had that shot. You could have just wiped him out, and Ocean could have basically gotten him for free. Ocean now trying to make that maneuver, but it's going to come a little too late as Marin shells are falling in from all the way over on the two line. Problem is, Ocean had to had to wait for a point in his scrimmage to actually yeah. go down. So yeah, yeah, he had, he had to wait for the battleship to die. Eight minutes to play, over a 300-point lead here for Band CV. Definitely in the driver's seat of this match right now. The 10-line push has worked out oh, about as well as 07 could have wished for, I suppose, except for the fact they haven't really got any, got any kills out of it, but they have achieved a, de a decent bit of board control over there. Yep, Kytus indeed did not get the B cap, so that is also still green. Um, but Striva in the daring is indeed circling back and is going to go into B. I don't think Merrick's right. gonna live long as well. No. no, they're gonna get him eventually. It's only a matter of time. Kinemon's not gonna show him the shot he wants. It's just, it, and he's just gonna slowly whittle him down. He's throwing HE at Kytus' Moskva from that position. That's the shot that Marin just took. Between, oh, I see, they're trying, go ahead. I see John the Ruthless is taking fire from both Anlay and Blood Legend, uh, 90 degree angles. Um, so that is adding up quite quickly. We might actually see John go down here shortly. Yeah, they're trying to they're trying to burn out Kytus here. They're, the the oh. guys on the 10 line are throwing HE at him, as well as Marin. Ocean Man's trying to move up behind him, but now he's yeah. got an Ohio in his face. Nice talk prediction there from Striever is daring, uh, but Ocean just managing to stop before they uh, hit. Ocean had his Hydra up, and there goes Marin. And Angelstone's pushed over to stop Ocean from pushing around that corner. Very dangerous if you're a Des Moines to have a, uh, Three, an Ohio. Yeah. Three ships down, now four ships down. 07 just doesn't have the board pieces to break back in here. The more I think about it, the more I like the aggressive play of pushing Eagle into that cap very quickly. But then I also think it's really, it, it's, it's something that we've not really seen much of, right? Band CV just, they, they held him there for like eight minutes, right? Between the radars and the hydros, he, he couldn't leave. If he left, he was just going to get gutted. And, and he played it, he played it, I don't say right or wrongly, he played it very conservatively. Um, but in the end, uh, it, it just didn't matter that much because he dove in there and then they really never got any points off of that cap. Yep, it's like standard band CV stuff. They choke you out of your uh, out of your caps and your positions. It's like a very very slow and painful death. That's usually what's happening. Well, that's that's but typical I, EU I, play. That's what I'm that's what I'm used to seeing out of the EU teams. The thing is, I don't think that it was actually the B cap that was the side of here. I think the match was won by uh, on the A side here because O7 actually got completely smashed here. Somehow. Yeah, they didn't yeah, achieve I'm... anything. They they just started to kite. I was kind of surprised they gave up the one and two line almost immediately. 
Yeah. Um, they they let that Nevsky gearing pair just push. Um, you know, outside of radar range and just sit there and farm them. I, I don't really understand why they let the one and two line go. I guess they wanted to support the mid more, but um, it did open that door. I still feel like I still feel like having. And I said this earlier in the match, right? Having Eagle trapped in the B cap for so long really screwed up their spotting, right? Because they just, they, I mean, you had a battleship sitting, you know, what, in about F7, F6, whatever, kind of lurking in the middle of the map in one of those little channels. They couldn't see him. They, they didn't know he was there other than the occasional radar. They had no vision on that guy. And I, I just feel like that was a, that was a, a, a big missed opportunity there. Just, I mean, well executed by Van Eve, you're kind of locking Eagle out and, and holding him there. But I also feel like 07 maybe could have recognized that sooner. I'm not sure. Hard to say. But Van Eve wins games one. Yep, I would call that a good technical solo win there. I think um, Henning described it very well. Just get your claws in and then gradually tighten the grip um, right. for Van Eve. Um So we'll see. Uh, what's the next map? The next map is Trap. Trap. So uh, we'll right, see if 07. Yeah, <laughs> I like it as well. So we'll see. Spicy. We'll see. Yeah, that, that was that's 07's pick. So uh, we'll see what they can do with it and see if they can come back one one. So uh, Prague, over to you.